in this video, I'm actually going to be sharing five steps to chasing your biggest dreams. Hey, hey, it is Jessie Richards from jessierichards.tv. I help busy moms create a lifestyle and an ultimate business that you are excited and eager to share with others. And today I have a really fun story to share with you because I generally hit the pillow and I am out for the night. And if you can relate as a busy mom, I'm sure you know what that feels like. So you're going running all day long and the end of the night it's like I need my pillow I need my bed and generally I don't have a problem going to sleep nor do I have a problem staying asleep but the last couple nights were different and it's all gonna tie into a topic that I'm really excited to share with you but first I want to share a story so like I was saying I never have a problem falling asleep or staying asleep but for the last three nights, I have woken up at the exact same time every single night. What is going on? <laughs> so I was waking up consistently at 4.40 every night. And the first night I'm like, okay, it's a fluke. Maybe something's going on. The second night I was like, what is up with this? And I pulled out my phone and started searching on Google. And what I started to realize was there was some consistency in if you have a problem waking up at the same time every night. If this has happened to you, um, you probably did what I did and started looking online. If it hasn't happened to you, listen up because I'm gonna save you some time. <laughs> so when I was waking up and trying to figure out why the heck am I awake, like wide awake and not being able to go back to sleep, what I came to find was depending on the time that you're actually waking up, um, it actually plays a factor into some really cool things that are happen happening inside of your body. So for me, there was a 3 to 5 a.m. window and it was all about um, how your body actually like repairs itself. Um, and during that time, it's the lungs that actually are being restored and repaired while you sleep. And I personally have asthma, and so I was like, well, that's kind of an interesting thing and something that caught my attention. And the, um, the articles that I read were actually talking about, um, one, it could be literal, you know, and, and I made sure, okay, I'm not wheezing, I'm not having any other symptoms for my asthma. Um, and so I kept reading on for, and searching for answers. And what I came to find was that there was actually a lot of people talking about um, it could be more of a metaphor and breathing life into your business, into a passion of yours. And really it's a higher power trying to communicate that with you. So being an entrepreneur, being a mom, very busy mom, <laughs> I was like, what am I missing? What is this higher power trying to tell me that I don't know yet. So after three consistent nights of no sleep, I was like many moms, right, <laughs> um, that work from home. I was taking a shower after I'd gotten all my kiddos to bed. It was about 9.30 at night and really it hit me like a ton of bricks. So I was in the shower. Um, any moms out there know that generally when your kids are awake, you get a thousand questions right and for me uh, it's like no other like my boys are either wrestling or they're asking me a million questions or they're suddenly hungry right and um, so that particular night I had no interruptions so I wasn't thinking about anything in particular and I'm in the shower I'm shampooing my hair and it hit me and I am really excited because I'm going to be sharing more about this aha moment and what hit me in future videos and I'm super excited to share that with you. But it really leads me into today's topic. Since having that aha moment in the shower, I am sleeping so soundly and back to my normal self. So today's topic, I want to talk to you about five steps to chase your dreams. So number one, you want to envision your dream in vivid detail. You want to be super precise because if you don't know what you want, how can the universe attract it for you? And then number two, you want to write it down and you want to be super crystal clear in the vivid details of writing it down. And I actually heard a really cool statistic. 
there was actually a study done on this and actually 40 you're 42 percent more likely to achieve a goal if it's actually written down can you say accountability number three is you absolutely have to focus on the positive and guard yourself from any negativity so there are going to be naysayers even when i came up with this aha moment and this really exciting new venture i immediately had some optimistic thoughts and I had some negative thoughts and honestly it has to be a leap of faith for you when you're thinking about your dreams and your goals because if you don't do it someone else will number four is you want to be very very selective on that inner circle so especially when you're growing a business when you're focusing on your dreams when you're trying to better yourself it's so important to think about the people that you're surrounding yourself with because if you are surrounding yourself with negative people, they're attracting negativity to you in your life. But if you're surrounding yourself with people that have what you have or are on a similar journey as you and attracting that, your success is golden and you're attracting that because you're putting it out into the universe. Number five, lead your life in courage and take action. It is so crucial. Once you have these aha moments, once you think about something monumental that could really affect and help your business, I want you to take action on those. So when I had this aha moment, I was like, I don't even know where to start, right? I've got so many ideas coming to me and it's important, right? That you have that vivid detail. What is the end goal, right? And what are the steps in between that really can help you to get to that end goal? And so it's super important when you're thinking about um, achieving those goals and achieving, achieving those dreams, what is going to get you from A to B? Say it with me, action! <laughs> So take those dreams, take those goals, and put them into action. Big goals take action takers, okay? It is so important when you are looking at these big goals and these big dreams, it's okay to get intimidated. It is okay to feel a little overwhelmed. I mean, you're human. But if you really want more for your family and more out of life, and you have these amazing goals and these amazing ideas, I mean, let's face it, somebody thought of the pool noodle, right? You have to put them into action. You have to implement that idea so that you can really see it for yourself. And you know, some ideas are not so great, but if you don't know and you don't put it into action and give it a chance, you'll never know if it, that was your golden gem, if that was the diamond in the rough. So I encourage you, take these five steps, chase your biggest dreams, map it out in great detail and take action. This is Jesse from jessierichards.tv. If you got value from today's video, please share it with another mama that needs to hear this message. We all have big dreams and we maybe don't know how to put them into action, but a few simple steps and I guarantee you're well on your way. So have an amazing day and we will see you on the next video. You know that moment when you really need a recording space? This is the no excuses blog here, ladies. I literally have cars driving in the background, okay? If I can do it, you can do it.